Hello everybody, so here in this uh, dark uh, video you are going to learn a little bit about light. Now in, we're going to do an experiment. Oh, here's my cat by the way. Can you see it? Well, it's very dark. So I'm going to light him. You can see now. Can you come here please? With light we can see the, the cat, but uh, previously we couldn't see. Okay, let's go back to the experiment. Now you need a torch like this one. If you have at home, I don't know if you have. If you have, it would be ideal. Maybe you could do it with a candle and then a piece of paper. Now we're going to put that paper next to the wall and we're going to see what happens. Let's go there. Okay, more things that you're going to need in this dark video is a little bit of tape like this, and a thread. This is a thread, hilo, thread. Now I'm going to get like um, one meter of thread, stick it in the ceiling and uh, stick it to the paper. Let's do it. Okay, let me show you what I have done now. As you can see, this is the ceiling. I have put some tape with the thread and if we go downwards, here is the paper. So we have the paper hanging from the ceiling, as you can see, and here we can now start our experiment. But the problem is that if we only use one thread, the paper will go round and round like this, and that's not good. So I need to put another one. Okay, here I am preparing the thread with some tape and I'll take some tape from there and put it there. So you can attach the thread to the ceiling. Now let me see if I can do it because I only have one hand to, to hold the camera and it's a bit difficult. Yeah, here we go. Yeah, okay, so I put it here like this. Okay, we have done the... the um, the two threads and look we have one there and another one there I don't know if you can see very well let's me focus a little bit better and then we have here the paper now this is what you should have okay this is approximately uh, 17 centimeters it doesn't have to be 17 exactly but uh, something like that it could be 15 or even a little bit less. Let's see. Let's start the experiment. A piece of paper is not opaque because some light can go through it. It's not transparent because we cannot see through a piece of paper. It's translucent. It lets some light go through, but the amount of light can also be different. Some objects are more translucent than others. Let's see. Now, we're going to do this experiment to check that how much translucent is this piece of paper. Now, if we put a, um, a light here, you can see that some light goes through. Hmm? Can you see? It works. If it was opaque, no light would go through. As you can see, there is something on the page. This has been done by oil. You have to put some oil in the white paper. And we are going to see what happens to the paper. Or even more, what happens to the translucent capacity of the paper? Will it grow higher? Will it be more translucent? or will it be less translucent? Now we're going to discover. Ready? As I told you, the only way to discover if the paper is more translucent now or less translucent is to do it.
put some light through the paper and see what happens. So are you ready? I got my torch here, I'm gonna put it on and let's see, look. Probably you can't see anything, but look at this. Here is the normal paper, attention. Can you see the amount of light? Now we go downwards. Wow, isn't it incredible? We have much more light when we have paper with oil than if we just have paper without oil. Now the oil microscopically does like little holes in the paper that lets the light go through. That's why much more light can go through the paper when it has oil. Isn't it incredible? Look again. Wow, it's incredible. I can't believe it. Look, just a little bit of light, a lot of light. A little bit of light, a lot of light. Now you do this experiment and see if it happens the same to you, okay? Thank you for watching and remember, work hard, but also have fun.